Not out. Well done, Richie. Six. Your first hundred for Scotland. I could yeah, see no, you were utterly determined. Yeah, score. I think it's one to remember. Obviously, um, we were struggling at one, one point. Match. Lost quite one a few wickets early on, but um, after that, me and Monty just knew how to get a partnership going. And it just got us close towards the end. And an awesome knock from Monty and Gouge saw us through it over the line there. Well, it's very modest of you to point out everybody else but yourself. You were the one that were awesome. And uh, it's one to remember, the first century for Scotland. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's my first one. So, yeah, obviously happy. And it's when you win as well, it makes it even more special. But obviously I would have liked to have seen it through. But like I said, the guys at the end done a fantastic job. So, really happy. Well, Gordon, a famous victory. I bet you didn't think it would be uh, that kind of game. Uh, no. Uh, not easy. Not easy on the nerves either, just at the end there. But um, I think a couple of the guys stood up there and showed exactly what we're asking for in terms of temperament, um, character and desire. Um, Fantastic knock, first first hundred for Richie Barrington for Scotland. Um, and he's just he's been in sensational form this year, and uh, he doesn't. No one deserves it more than what he done there, and, and brilliantly supported by Moni Iqbal, who's been waiting for his turn. And um, it's, it's good you st these guys stand up when they're given the opportunity. Well, it was an amazing partnership of 174, which was uh, just 14 short of a record eight wicket partnership. Uh, which has stood since 1954. Uh, it's just a shame they didn't couldn't get past that uh, milestone as well. But uh, uh, this will give you great spirit going into the next game and then into uh, the matches in uh, the Netherlands, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, we talk a lot about winning being a habit, and uh, we'd like to continue along that suit, you know. And um, I think the confidence we can take from today's game is, is massive. Um, we've still a few issues we need to iron out in terms of putting ourselves in difficult positions, which we've done there. Um, you know, being 60 for 6 isn't, isn't ideal, um, so there's someone need to look at there. Um, but we also managed to f fight back well with the ball. Uh, at one stage it looked like they could get over 300. Um, but our, our guys have had a lot of experience recently of bowling at the death and, and bowling at power plays, and I think that's that's shone through there with the guys um, in terms of Gaudi, um, Barrow and, and Parker there. So, yeah, it, it, there's a lot of confidence that can come from that. But we've got to make sure that we don't get ourselves into situations where we need to... You know, difficult situations we need to fight back from incredibly instead of actually just getting through across the line a little bit easier and making it a bit easier on ourselves and possibly the, the public, although I'm sure they enjoyed watching that game today. Certainly did and uh, keep the uh, positive thinking going for a, <laughs> as long as it needs. Well, I mean, there's a, there's, there's a lot of potential around in Cricket Scotland at the moment, you know, and, and a lot of youngsters coming through who have shown um, ability that we're looking for. Um, one thing we're trying to add to that is the character and the desire and, that, and the right attitude. And the, um, guys today that have joined the squad have seen that from Richie Barrington and, and Moni, um, exactly what we're after. And, and uh, if you do show that correct attitude, then you're going to win games for Scotland. Uh, and you know, beating NDA is, is a fantastic achievement. Um, well, best of luck again on Friday and then in the Netherlands. Right, thanks very much. Cheers.